innovation, imagination, wonder. These are just some of the words used to describe Dr. Harvey Passes. Dr. Passes explores interesting people and ideas that will stimulate you. He questions the people who develop, create, and employ novel concepts in business and everyday lives. He especially loves to speak with successful people. How did they do it? How can you do it too? So let's join Dr. Harvey Passes in his quest of wondering curiosity as we watch Dr. Harvey Passes Presents. I love cooking. <laughs> I love eating. But I love cooking. Some people like to fool around in the garden. Other people like to make little boats. Other people like to play with stamps. I love cooking. It is relaxing. It's enjoyable. It's fun. And you get a chance to have like, the instant gratification. After you cook it, you eat it. What could be better than that? When I cook, I find in many of my dishes one ingredient which is just a staple for me. And that staple is olive oil. I think olive oil goes well with most foods and if you know how to apply it and use it properly. So one day, I'm having dinner with a very knowledgeable individual who imports foods and olive oils and he's a chef and he's all, this man is Mr. Food, Signore Food. <laughs> And he is just a knowledgeable, wonderful resource. So we're sitting and we're talking, and I'm telling him about my love of olive oil and how it's used a lot in many foods. And he agrees with me. Then he starts to explain the different oils that are used for different types of cuisine. And I said, gee, that makes sense. I didn't know this. We kept talking some more. And finally, I realized that I was learning some very interesting information. And I said... How would you like to share this with my viewers on Long Island? He said, absolutely I would. So I tore him away. His wife has him chained to the oven in the kitchen. But I tore him away. I put a little olive oil on the lock and it slid open. And I got him to come down to the studio so that we could talk about the different type of olive oils. And this way you could become a little bit more savvy about a really good staple that you should keep in your home when cooking. And you'll learn why today. So I'd like you to meet Michael Zara. Michael, oh, Michael. Oh, Thank you so very much for nice coming back. Nice to see you, Doctor. Uh, we you. did a show in cooking before, mm -hmm. and I loved it. We had a lot of fun. It was terrific. And I was thrilled that you decided to come back. And we can talk all about olive oils. You know, after you and I spoke about this, I did some reading. And I feel I'm pretty knowledgeable about wine. And when I read the olive oil uh, booklet, uh, book on it, so it's just like grapes, mm -hmm. except there's there's twice as many olives, types of olives, than there are grapes in the yeah. world. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's a good product. <laughs> you know, you it depends. Love it. I don't know how to use it. You know? No, I, well, that's yeah. the reason why you're here. Uh, yes. You talk about the various types of olive, oil, mm -hmm. of olive oils and different places in the world. And it, it's just fascinating. Where Where are the major places in the world where olive oil comes from? Well, number one, I would say Italy. Right. There is nobody else, you know. Even Spain produces oil, Greeks produce oil, Turkish, you know. But I think the top oils, my opinion, is Italy. Um, 